What is going on guys? The weather people were calling for rain today, risk of thunderstorms. We didn't listen to them. We woke up early this morning and it is amazing out. Bluebird skies pretty well, low winds, and we got big red. Little 11 and a half foot boat here. Put a troll motor on the back with one little battery. We're right here in the Durham region in the Whippy Harbor. And we're gonna go fish for pike today. There are some absolute giants in here. I've caught some of the biggest pike I've ever caught right here in the Durham region, right in Whippy Harbor. It's the first of October. It's a little early. You know, it's real good come the end of October, early November. They start feeding like crazy, getting their feed bag on for the winter. But uh, there's fish in here all year round. So we're gonna go out there and see if we can catch a pike. There's also big salmon in there right now because they're they're spawning. They come in here, steelhead come in here. There's giant carp. It's just awesome. There's so many different fish you can come here and fish here for, but the pike especially, there are some giants. This is the first boat I ever bought and I've caught some of my biggest fish in this bad boy. We're gonna go out today and see if we can catch a big pike. Make sure to put ease in the boat. It's gonna be fun. This is where I caught the biggest pike of my life. There's some big ones in here. We're gonna get tied up. Boat might look a little bigger in video, but it's puny. That's all right. Don't matter, it just goes to show you guys can come out here in anything. You can even fish off the bank. There's a railing over there that's public. Anyone can go there and fish off the railing. I see people there all the time, catching big pike, carp, salmon, and we're throwing big baits today. This is a big bulldog. A lot of guys throw these for muskie. I think that's the medium sized one. They make ones a lot bigger. Or well, we're gonna throw that guy today. That's a big bait right there. They have absolutely no problem eating that. These pike, they're exactly like musky though, especially this time of year. The fall is here, winter's coming, and they're putting their feed bag on. So that right there is nothing for them to fold up and, and munch. So we're gonna tie that on and fish away and hopefully get some. Oh yeah! He's smooth and he's scaring me, dude. It's not very big, but... Holy! First fish of the morning, guys. It's not a big one, but... Forgot how hard they hit. Unreal. Let her go and try and catch some more. Nothing big, they get a lot bigger than that. But if we can catch a few of those today, I'll be pretty happy. Again, on that big bait, catch that little pike. Crazy. Yeah, nothing big, but so much fun. And they're so clean. Look how clean that fish is. Awesome.
Not as a rock, guys. The weather people were right. There is rain coming. There is a big storm coming. The trolling motor just died, so we're gonna have to paddle into shore. So we're gonna get rolling before the thunder and lightning gets here. But all in all, it was a fun day. We didn't catch many. We saw a few. Fun day right here in the Durham region in the Whippy Harbor, throwing gigantic baits for big pike. We didn't catch any big pike today. Like I was saying, it's still a little early. We're gonna be filming another episode this November, December, when the water starts cooling up. All the big ones from Lake Ontario come in the harbors, and even the ones that are in the harbors all summer long, they just put their feed bag on, they get big bellies on them, and there's some big fish in here. I've caught my personal best pike right here in the Whippy Harbor. So we're gonna get rolling, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode in November, December, and that's a wrap. Until next time, I'm Cooper Glant, and that's another TIMP video.